God, I am so <laughs> To celebrate our win and his first start for the club, Charlie invited me around his house. And yeah, one thing led to another and I am totally, totally plastered. To maintain a professional image, I've gone incognito with the hat and shades. Can you imagine what he's going to be like when he actually scores a goal? Yeah, I'm on the road to recovery from that night. And to be fair, the team aren't doing much better at the moment. We drew both our last two games against teams we should arguably be beating. Uh, an away game against Alaves, we ended 2-2. Simone Barbo are getting both goals in that one. And then a disappointing 0-0 draw against Celta Vigo. That has left us still fourth in the table. And we are still 11 points ahead of uh, Villarreal. But a little bit of a slip. Today will go a long way to deciding if we are going to make that top four. Because today we play Atletico Bilbao. And first up is Sevilla, who are really struggling down in 14th. A bit of a surprise this year, usually... They're up in that top four chat, but nowhere near at the moment uh, and probably won't be anywhere near. I think we can rule them out of it before the end, but it'll still be a tough game, especially away from home. In terms of the lineup, not a lot has really changed. Jean Dominic is still on his way back from injury, so it's still NATO in goal with Montoya, Garay, Derulo and Wendell as the back four. Uh, Danny Pereira, Coquelin and Carlos Soler make it the midfield three uh, as Kern Dogbia is actually suspended today because he's picked up another load of yellow cards. We've got a bit of a discipline issue, it's fair to say. Uh, Gonzalo Guides actually comes in on the right-hand side today in the place of Simon Moses, who's going to get a rest of Moses Simon. Uh, Rodriguez on the left with Simone Barbar up front. We are fast-paced today. You look at their team, I kind of think, how are Sevilla that low? They've still got Longley in there, who we know is very good. Kiar, Rico, Benega, and Zonzi, Pizarro, Sarabi, and Alito Muriel. There's some really good players in there. Got Ben Yedder on the bench, Geis, Corsia. There's some really good players there. I'm not really sure what's going on with us at the moment. I think we might be hitting that stage of the season where a little bit of fatigue is kicking in. The lack of rotation might be part of our problem, but I'm hoping that we can put that to bed today. We get two wins from today. I'm very confident that we have got top four, and then we can pretty much race for the rest of the season uh, all the way probably to the Copa del Rey final, which is in around about a month or so's time. We made a good start here, though. We've got a corner within the first minute. Prey whips it in. Barba. Ah, he's at the post, of course. The highlights continue from the fallout from that corner, and we still have the ball here as Guidis pushes forward, and it's a lovely ball over the top for Barba. He's not going to score from there. He tees it back. Soler, 1 0. That was a very long highlight, uh, but we've done really well there to get a goal out of it. We've come out of the blocks absolutely flying. It's exactly what we wanted us to do, and Soler gets another goal this season. Another assist by Barba as well. He's making it difficult for me to think about not having him next year. He looks in really, really good touch at the moment. He's becoming crucial to the way we play. That's not the best finish from Soler, but it, it goes in and that's all that matters. It almost looks like he scuffed it a bit, but a goal is a goal. And we do have a highlight here, just before the half an hour mark. As Carunia draw level with Barcelona, that's good. Good header from Daru though, although it doesn't really fall to him. Muriel's got serious thoughts of pace here. Muriel goes through on goal. What? What a goal for Muriel. He literally skinned about three of my players there. That's incredibly irritating. It's just a long ball. Derulo, so that's got caught the wrong side. And Muriel's absolutely gone there. Because obviously Derulo went up to win the head. NATO, you got to do better. You can't be being beaten at your front post, mate. Jason Derulo playing at 6.3. Apparently it's gone down as his mistake. Yeah, a little bit harsh, I think it's fair to say. We're going to tell the boys to push forward here. That's really, really knocked me for six, actually. We were pretty much in control of the game. And they've done really, really well all the way throughout, but mm, not brilliant. And Sergio Rico has picked up a knock. That is useful. Hmm. I've got to save you. Is not impressed. I'm going to tell the boys passionately. Been the better team. Keep doing what you're doing. You will turn this around. Uh, Derulo is playing at 6.2. That is awful. I might have to bring Mohammed on. The problem is, is that even though the rest of him is playing quite well, like it's just that one mistake, but you know that there's a likelihood he might go and make another one afterwards. It depends on what kind of character he is. There is a highlight here at the start of the second half, and that's well played by Rodrigo to cut out the throw in. Bar by here. Now we just need him to hold it up while we get the guys on the break. That's really poor. Not from Barba, just the support he got was non existent. Nolito goes through, passes it to Muriel. Muriel, it's 2 1. We are. We are in trouble. We are in trouble. I did not I did not see this coming. 
we just get dragged in and oh, right Derulo's coming off he's not having his best game he's literally just left his man there that's not brilliant Mohammed's going to come on hmm trouble we are in trouble 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 and trouble continues as Leon hits the ball in great clearance from Mohammed now can we get an instant equaliser that would be ideal but it looks like Severo actually the one's pushing for a for a third here, but Ebenega plays a nice ball down the line to Nolito. He whips it in. Mir oh, you are f more. You are. Oh, you are testing me today. Mm. It's a good ball by Nolito and Garay. I mean, he could not have placed that any better. That is just a woeful piece of defending. Corner. The game is all over the place at the moment. We need an instant equaliser. But Pizarro's got this. Muriel's already got away from his man. I can see it here. It's not Muriel, sorry, it's Sarabia, for God's sake. There's no one's following anybody. Nolita picks up the ball. Pizarro whips it long. It's been a while since I've got irritated at the team, but I'm pretty pissed off right now. Machado to the off. 4-1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've only lost four in five games. Delightful. Machado with a pretty nonsense ball in and uh, it's good whenever Montoya fancies doing some defending he, he can, he's been shite they've all been shite and there's a highlight here in the 67th minute I'm absolutely fuming as Rodrigo just, Pizarro is like, I can't remember how old he is but he's literally running around like he's a 23 year old this is absolute nonsense yeah of course it's going to deflect into Nolito's path Nolito whips it in, Sarabia fight, f*** off I'm literally going to sit here in silence for the rest of the game. I'm I'm fuming. 5-1, Sevilla. I bet you can tell. I'm going to get aggressive and say you are f***ing shite. Oh, the language has come out. That's, that's broken me a bit. Villarreal are now only eight points behind. And we are in a very bad run of form. And we've only got Bilbao, Real and Atletico to come up. Magic. Your team suffered a humiliating, heavy defeat to Sevilla. The supporters are far from happy. It was an appalling result. And the players know exactly how I feel. Simone Barber, Bar Bar, he didn't put in the kind of performance I expect. I've seen Lolito play better. I'm not happy. I shall see you at the Bill Bow game in a minute. I am. Oh, this is going to be a hard watch. It's going to be hilarious for everyone else. For me, this is going to be hard while editing to kind of make this almost... How have I lost £5 million? How have I lost £5 million in a month? Wonderful. Oh, good. My data analyst is about to go as well. It just gets better. I'm wondering if people have found out my formation. There's a chance we could literally throw it away. We need to win here. We win here. We're still in pole position, but we, we need a win here. I'm so annoyed. I'm, I'm sure you can tell. I'm I just did not see that coming. A draw, maybe. A defeat, yeah, maybe. But a 5-1? A Nato, the first thing I'm going to do is... I know that Jean-Dominic isn't... Oh, but he's not really match sharp. I'll put Dominic on the bench. Uh, I'm going to keep faith in Dorillo and Garay. They've been so good all season. There's no real reason for me to take him out. Moses Simon's coming back in. Coquelin can get... Yeah, because he was, he was pretty bad. So we have made a couple of changes. Most of Simon's coming back in. Kadobia, who I think we missed desperately in that game, is back in. Other than that, it's as you were. Just going to get aggressive and say, I expect to see a much better performance tonight. Not everyone is happy with that. I cannot believe that not everyone has responded to that. I've got some real weaklings in this team, if that is the case. I think that's that. I was honestly in a brilliant mood today. And that's just put me in such a bad mood. I've got the stage now where I've kind of grown that attachment with the team now. So that was just humiliating. In every respect, that was humiliating. Pareo to Condobbia. Come on. First highlight. Condobbia wins it back. That's what I want to see. So there. Good ball out to Montoya now. Better performance from him is required today. He was rubbish in the last game. Zaza. Oh, will you just... Oh, how has that not gone it? Oh, my God. Ah. He literally could have had 40 this season, Barbar, if he could just stop hitting the woodwork. Pareo whips it in. No one wins their day. It's fallen out to Rodrigo. We started the game really well last time, and look what happened. Um, oh, my God. Rodrigo's given the ball away to act uh, to Uri. He's played it to Axi. I don't know how you say that. Aketzi? I don't know. NATO smashes it long. 
to nobody. You're not. I can't wait for Dominic to come back. I can't wait for Dominic to come back. Don't you dare. Moonayin, Adjuris. He hits it just wide. Good to see, though, that we are all at sea at the back. I'm going to drop Kondorpia back into a defensive position. I'm going to get him to just be a defensive playmaker back there. And we'll move Pereira into being an attacking playmaker. But we just need Kondorpia just to sit and protect. Because we're getting absolutely smashed in the middle of the park. Parejo. Not what the F is that? Oh my god, we are all over the place. Come on, tackle it. Oh, Adjuris is for on goal. He is as slow as anything. Well done, NATO. Finally makes a save. There's now another highlight, and this is raising my blood levels. I'm just getting even more irritated. Moses Simon out to Montoya. He plays it to Danny Pareo. Come on. Oh, what a goal. I have no idea how the defender missed it. It's a good finish by Rodrigo, but I'm not sure how the defender missed the ball from Parejo. It's an absolutely woeful piece of defending, and we've seen a lot of that already today. Condobbia there, nice ball back into Montoya. We work it nicely here. This is a good play from Simon and Montoya. I need to see this then. So Parejo, that is... I don't know what... I, I don't know if he got touched or if he tripped over the invisible wall. I have no idea what happened there, but it's some poor defending. And we have gotten away with it there. It's a good finish from Rodrigo, don't get me wrong, but we've gotten away with one there. I have to say, we are putting in a much better performance. Like We're dominating it a lot more today. We just need a win to try and get ourselves, get some momentum back. But I'm just... I'm fuming at Barbar. Just, he could literally have seen us through so many games if he could just... Just be Brenner. Just be Brenner for me. West Ham reference. It's a good tackle from Barbar, and we are off here. Garay to Moses Simon. You can see the ball on the overlap. Nice ball out to Rodrigo from Simon. It's a little bit behind him, but we can take that. Rodrigo. Barbar must be. He hasn't got to it. Moses Simon. One touch out of his feet. Hits it. What a finish from Moses Simon. That. That there is why I signed him. What a goal. I need to see this again. I'm not sure how he's managed to get it in from that angle, but he has even drilled this, I think, across the keeper. It's a magnificent finish. We shall see. As well played by Rodrigo. Not the best header out. Moses. I have no idea how he's got that in from there. What a goal from Moses, Simon. Come on. Ah, oh, Villarreal just taking the lead. That's disappointing. We could have done with them dropping some points today. Don't get me wrong, eight points is still a very, very good gap, but just with the fixtures we've got coming up, we lose both the Madrid fixtures and Villarreal win both their games, and suddenly we're only two points ahead, and it's suddenly nothing. So that's kind of the way I've got my mindset at the moment, because I can't see us beating either of the Madrid teams. They're just absolutely flying in the league at the moment. We're doing so well at the moment. This is nice. This is what I wanted. This is a nice, comfortable game. Can we get a third? Charlie Mulgrew to take the corner. He whips it in. Mohamed nearly gets there. Not quite. Preo to Moses Simon. Simon to Barbar. Hey, he scored. And he hits it in off the woodwork. He, even when he scores. Yeah, there it is. In the aid of the with the in with the aid of the woodwork. Even then, when he scores, he just cannot help hitting the bar. Good ball in originally from Charlie. Nice set from Pareo to Moses. Lovely back heel there. Simon's showboating today. It's taken a few deflections and gone in there. There we go. The whistle goes. 3-0 win against the top four rival. It's a much better comeback after the 5-1 thumping that we took against Sevilla. I'm still sore about it. I'm going to say passionately, that was so much better. Hopefully that will improve the morale a little bit. You can see how much we've dropped off the top three now with our little bit of inconsistent form. Originally we were right behind Barcelona. Now we're eight points behind them and ten points behind Madrid. Thirteen behind Atletico. Crucially though, still eight points ahead of Villarreal with ten games to go. The hard part of that is the upcoming fixtures. After these two, the two Madrid fixtures, I think we'll be fine. But you, you just don't know. I just don't know. I think what we're going to have to do, I think the next game will actually be the cup final. So what we can do is we can have Malaga uh, beforehand and then we'll actually have the cup final against Bilbao. Or do we do it as a one-off? I think it depends on how we're doing in the league. If there's any chance that we're not going to make the top four and it's a crucial get, I'll bring in the Malaga one and we'll watch the set at the um, Copa del Rey final. If not, I think we'll just do a one-off special. 
uh, on the Spanish Cup final. It's not often we do those, so I might try that and do something a little bit different. Thank you so much for watching the episode. Sorry, it's been a, not as uh, well. I, I don't know if I'm actually ever funny, but not as comedic as possible as it usually is uh, in this series. Uh, just that game wound me up so much. I, I just come off the back of obviously the two draws, which had already wound me up, but then to get beaten five one. That, that doesn't happen very often, so I had to swallow my pride a little bit there. But we hit back with a 3-0 win, so not all is lost. Thank you so much for watching the episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, then please do like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you come back for the Copa del Rey final and maybe the Malaga game, depending on how we go. Thank you so much for watching. Until I see you there, stay cool.